event. We have uh, several individuals that we're going to be recognizing today to include the Employee of the Month for June 2018. We're also going to revisit the Employee of the Month from last month um, as she was unavailable to attend. And so we're going to read her nomination as well and uh, appreciate her support and her family that came uh, for uh, the Employee of the Month for May 2018. Um, we also are going to recognize uh, several employees that have received uh, or have uh, achieved uh, or will achieve at some point during the month of June a milestone anniversary as a member of the city team at this point um, in the month. And, um, um, and then we'll go on from there. And so we're going to start out with uh, the employee of the month. And as I mentioned, each and every month, the employee of the month is somebody that, um, that makes us look good good as far as city employees to the public. They do their job well. They do their job in an exceptional manner by exemplifying outstanding service through his or her work. They have a positive attitude. They're generally just nice people to be around. They do good work um, and, um, and they provide excellent services to the taxpayer. Um, they make us look good as a team. They help hold us together in times of trouble and, and um, the employees of the month that we're going to be recognizing this month I think are two more fine examples of that. And so we're going to start out by uh, by going back in time to May 2018, and we're going to recognize the May 2018 Employee of the Month um, recipient. And to tell you a little bit more about her, she began her employment with the city on May 4th, 1995, working part-time as an auxiliary dispatcher. On March uh, 28th, 2016, she was brought on full-time as the Public Safety Telecommunicator Supervisor, which is where she continues to serve the city today. Here was what was written in the nomination for her. Communication Supervisor Hope Lunsford has been employed with the city for almost two years. In that time, she has shown herself to be a role model, mentor, and an excellent supervisor. Hope has streamlined the testing and hiring process for telecommunicators to include reducing the cost of testing. Mrs. Lunsford has achieved accreditation for the Police and Fire Communication Center and is an accreditation assessor and will soon be named as a board member to the Florida Police Accreditation Commission for Communications. Hope is currently in the process for integrating another law enforcement agency into Pensacola Public Safety Communications Center. This will, incre this will increase safety and effectiveness for patrol officers from both agencies. Morale and professionalism in her unit has increased and is evidenced by improved performance and lower turnover. Hope often covers shifts and works holidays so that others can spend time with their families. Her unit has cut spending on office supplies as well as with no impact on job satisfaction. She has gone, uh, she has even gone as far as to go pick up members when their car has been broken down to bring them to work. Um, during last year's and this year's Telecommunicator Appreciation Week, Hope designed shirts and cooked lunch for uh, and dinner every day for her employees. When some PHS students could not afford the money to participate in an out of town trip, Hope baked dozens of pound cakes that were sold to raise money. Hope is also in the process of also becoming a certified public manager in what is left of her free time, which is very little it sounds like. Hope recently discovered that a student at Pensacola High School was unable to fit into his sneakers. She found out this student's shoe size and purchased him a pair of sneakers and dress shoes. Hope not only made a difference in this child's life, but she goes above and beyond for anyone she hears that needs something. One of her teammates needed socks because their feet were cold, uh, because their feet were cold. She gave them a, a new pair of socks from her desk drawers. She's playing for everything. Um, if these acts, uh, it's these acts of giving that make uh, a blessing to anyone that knows Hope Lunsford. Hope Lunsford does more for PPD, PFD than the community or anyone realizes. She approaches each day as a new challenge and is eager to make a difference on difficult tasks. Her attitude, dedication, determination is what every employee should strive for. And for these reasons, we're going to recognize Hope Lunsford as the May 2018 employee of the month. Here, meaning me and my wife, but 
The Honorable Scott Lunsford knows his better half is home. <laughs> so we got the Honorable Tax Collector here, Scott, but thanks for what y'all do for our community. Because it takes a, a team, so thank you both. Thank you very much. Right. Congratulations, Hope. So now we're going to move forward to the June 2018 Employee of the Month. And to tell you a little bit more about this individual, he began his career with the city on April 16, 2012, as a code enforcement specialist, which is where he continues to serve today. Here was what was written in his nomination. Mr. Miltier has worked as a Housing Quality Standards Inspector for the Housing Division since 2012. He has received numerous notes from the public regarding the ex excellent customer service he provides on a regular basis. As, as, as an example, in the early morning hours of May 1, 2018, a fire broke out in a group of townhouses in Pensacola. Mr. Miltier heard the news in the morning while preparing for work and recognized the address as a location where several of the homes were occupied by participants in the City of Pensacola's rental assistance program. Fortunately, no one was hurt in the fire, but damage to several of the units uh, was extensive. To make matters worse, the owner of the units had passed away unexpectedly four days prior so, uh, to the fire, so the tenants were already fearful about the future of their tenancy. Mr. Miltier brought, to the fire, or brought the fire to the attention of housing senior staff early on May 1st. He visited the site that morning so he could inform staff of the actual conditions on the scene and then visited in the afternoon to check in with the tenants, answer questions about their program participation, and offer assurances. Mr. Miltier's manager, management of the situation meant housing staff was able to offer better assistance to the affected tenants since we already had a strategy in place by the time they called. His foresight and leadership were comforting to the impacted tenants and helpful to his teammates back in the office. And it's for these traits that Mr. Miltier exhibits regularly and why we're recognizing him as the Employee of the Month for June. Congratulations, Edwin. We had one other employee who received a nomination this month, and just like every month, I, I try and not uh, mention that person's name. Um, uh, if someone mentioned your name, you'd want to know that somebody took time to recognize your, uh, your good deeds, and that was Robert Lindblom with the Pensacola Police Department. So have a round of applause for him. <laughs> Um, as we move forward, I can't stress enough the importance that your nomination may make for other employees. Just taking a few minutes to jot down some notes on, you know, some of the great things that we do as we get caught into the day in and day outs of our job. We may not appreciate all the facets and all the ways that we are integrated with the community, that we're integrated with our workforce, the way that we help one another. Um, and just taking a few minutes to recognize somebody, whether they're in your department or another department, could really pick somebody up if they're having a rough time in life or, uh, or, or maybe struggling with, why am I doing this job? And so then they can help remind them, oh yeah, I am making a difference. So I would encourage you to keep the nominations coming in for a review by the committee and, um, and uh, appreciate those that have made nominations up to this point. So now we're going to move forward and we're going to recognize um, some of the members of our staff that have uh, an anniversary that they've celebrated as a member of the city's team at some point during this month or soon to come. And we're going to start with those that have celebrated their first year anniversary as a member of the city's team. And so we call your name. Please come forward for your one year certificate. And the first of those is Scott Umans, one year at the airport. Next is Lee Benton, one year with the fire department. He was going for his phone. Did y'all see that? Public safety. <laughs>
Next is Noah Sains, one year with the fire department. Next, uh, one year with the fire department, Tyler Haswell. Next is Nicholas White, one year with the fire department. Next, Mr. Andrew Tucker, one year with the fire department. if he snuck in or not is uh, Roderick Billups. Did he come in? He's not here, Doug. Okay. Round of applause for Roderick Billups. One year. <laughs> Sanitation and Food Services. All right. Congratulations to all of you. Next, we're going to move on to those. Uh, we have one individual that celebrated his five-year uh, anniversary this month as a member of the city's team, um, and that's Mr. Booker Washington III. Is he here? He's not here. Round of applause for Mr. Washington. Yay. All right. Um, moving on, we're going to move to the category. We have two individuals, uh, both from Pensacola Energy. They're celebrating their 15-year anniversary this month. They're here. Uh, the first of those is Trevor Jackson, 15 years. And next is Dwayne Mills, 15 years. <clears throat> So then we have uh, in the next category, 20 years of service uh, celebrated this month. We have one individual. I asked him earlier how he did it. He said he didn't know, but he works nights and not a lot of people knew about it. And that's Eric Goss with the police department. Congratulations. Um, and then in our last category that we have, we have two individuals that have celebrated their 25 year anniversary this month. Call your name, please come forward and get your 25 year service pin. First is Philip Hoffman, 25 years in the fire department. And 
then do we have Bill Beto? There he is. All right. 25 years. All right, congratulations to all of you. Um, as, as we have every month, there's a number of individuals that we did invite that were unable to attend for one reason or another. Um, it doesn't take away from their achievement as being a member of the city's team in the, in the slightest, um, but we all have life that interferes with our schedules and sometimes we can't make it. So I'll just read through the list here. We'll have a round of applause for these individuals. Um, we had Terry Johnson, 25 years with sanitation. We had Mickey Dykes, 15 years with Pensacola Energy. We had Richard uh, Baran, second, five years of Pensacola Energy. Alan Evans, five years of Pensacola Energy. Joseph Woolever, five years of Pensacola Energy. Charles Montgomery, five years with Pensacola Energy. Mary Nathan, five years with housing. Kenneth Howard, one year at the garage. And James Pettigrew, Pettigrew Jr., one year with Public Works. And I ran through that quickly, but obviously that's a lot of time invested in being a member of the city's team. So let's have a round of applause for those. All right, and then before I turn it over to the mayor, we had two hot seats in the audience this month, and I think Amanda is perhaps one of them. If you check under your chair up underneath, oh, she already did. She already knew. And then Mandy, I think underneath your chair as well. And so we had tickets that were donated to the city by Blue Cross Blue Shield, and so it should be a pair of tickets to the August 24th Wahoos game. So congratulations there. That's not. I'd like to turn it over to the mayor. <laughs> How many tickets did they give us? Ah, two each? We got a date. All right. All right, so we got like some, your team members in the newspaper. I know I'm going to embarrass them, but we're going to, has, has everybody seen Chief Craner and Chief Bogan in here? <laughs> we, you didn't see that team? I gotta give the News Journal credit. At least they're writing nice things about my people, so that's, that's all that matters. Well, anyways, thanks uh, for everything that you do. I mean, sincerely, I won't get emotional today because Eric's here. 20 years is shocking to me. Um, but how's everybody's summer? I know it's hot. Has anyone taken the ferries? I have uh, Ann's grandmother's in town. She's 91, and so they left this morning to go out to Fort Pickens. So I was waiting for one of our first responders to call me and say, uh, Ashton, I got your wife and her mom and her grandmother, because the grandmother, it's pretty hot out there, yeah. but definitely go out on the ferries. It's amazing to see the bay and see the city at that scale. So again, just keep up the great work. Thank you for being here. The Honorable Lunsford, thanks for joining your beautiful wife um, and all the great things that she does for the city. But most importantly, thank you for what y'all do. If we don't have a team, we can't you know, do what we do, and it's not an ideal. As I always say, it's a we deal, and thank you for making me look good. I really appreciate it, and hopefully you've enjoyed the vision. Uh, we're going to continue it out in the next five months, and maybe we'll have a party before I leave, and um, we'll have a good time, all right? Thank you. If you were recognized today, please make sure that you come forward so that we can have a group photo with the mayor and for the family members and, uh, and supporters that came out to support those recognized. Thank you all for coming out. Everyone else, thank you for, uh, for your support. I hope everyone has a good day. Thank you.